Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, yeah, the remastered edition. So right now we've just saved all the doctors. Continuing our mission to find Commissioner Gordon. But at the moment these goons have just come up in the elevator. So now we've got to take him out naturally, so... I'm really hoping he didn't see me! Oh god damn it! <laughs> I thought I could sneak up on him. Oh no, that's not good. Quick! Hurry up and regenerate my health. Quick, please, 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 pretty please. Come on, let me do a little inverted take to Oh, he's, he's going down there, isn't he? Oh. Hopefully. Uh. <laughs> Did that just happen? Did that actually just happen? Instead of a glide kick, I turned it into a silent takedown. That right there is amazing. What? I am genuinely proud of that. Right, hurry up and come back. Come back up here. I've got low health, so I actually do need to be <laughs> careful. I really don't because I've done so well at this point. That glide kick turned into a stealth takedown. Amazing. I really don't want that to not count. Oh my days, this is getting boring now. Come on. <gasps> no! Oh, for God's sake, I actually... I'm generally getting scared now. Please don't turn around. Oh, yes. That's how we do it. Right, where are those chattering teeth? Because I don't want to leave no chattering teeth left behind. Just like no man left behind, no chattering teeth left behind. So I believe it's actually a trophy you can get in the game if you get a, a if you smash up all the chattering teeth in the game. Probably is. I wouldn't be surprised. The Rocksteady, the game developers, wouldn't just put them all in there just for the hell of it. Because that'd be annoying as hell. No, I'm going the wrong way again. Right, so where... So hold on just a sec. Oh. Maybe it's down here. Might lead me to the path I need to go on. Might just lead me to a Riddler trophy. Whatever the case. It'll help me some way or another. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is one of the challenge maps as well. A challenge completed. Can you do more? Hold on. Where's that? I can hear him. Oh. Well, now that that makes more sense. Right. Right. 
Right, I've got to find the right door. Ugh, come on. Really embarrassing, because it's like there's probably people watching this right now, and they're like, ugh, idiot, he should know where he's going, but... I don't blame you, to be fair. Right. Let's get out of this doctor's area and then focus on getting good old Commissioner Gordon back. If I can actually find it. I don't know if I can actually find it, that is. Let's... No, I'm going in the wrong direction again. Is that it over there? Notes. I'll oh, stop it. I'm gonna lose track. Stop it. Ah, oh. great. I've lost track of it now. Great. I had it. Ah, oh, for goodness, my days. I'm. Right, here we go. Oh. Easy. Oh, think about it. I could get trapped in a little metal box hanging precariously over a deadly drop. What say I just blow the emergency brake center off you like a sack of puppies? Say good night, bats. Boom! <laughs> Only kidding. Got a few more surprises. Oh yeah, this is where this is where the scarecrow element of the game really begins. I gotta say they did a really good job showcasing Scarecrow's unique ability in this game. I must say, like props to Rocksteady for making this character who not many people really know or care about actually relevant. Obviously he's a lot more relevant in Arkham Knight. I don't know why, I kind of like him more in this game than I liked him in Arkham Knight. In Arkham Knight, he just kind of seemed like, oh, general mob boss or general evil leader. Whereas in this game, he genuinely freaks you out at times. And that's what he should do. But yeah, I think Arkham Knight, they kind of forgot about the whole horror element to his character. But yeah, I still I still like the game Arkham Knight, and I will do a playthrough of that eventually. But obviously, first we're gonna get through the playthrough of Arkham Asylum, then we'll do f playthrough through Arkham City, then we'll get round to Arkham Knight. So I have to wait a little bit for that. But I'll oh, for all you guys in the comments if you do end up watching this video and you're listening to this right now. No, I am not uh, gonna be playing Origins because uh, I don't actually f officially count that as part of the story. Yeah, Arkham Origins, like, it had its moments, but overall, yeah. See Batman with the red eyes for a second there? Kind of reminded me of Flashpoint Batman. You know, like Thomas Wayne Batman. I think there is a mod, someone did do a mod where you could play as Flashpoint Batman. Like, obviously you can't use guns or anything like that, but as in, you've got the Flashpoint suit. Like, look, yeah, just sort of. I know obviously he's under the influence of Scarecrow's toxin, but <laughs> it's not actually Flashpoint Batman. <laughs> Just Thomas Wayne appears out of nowhere. Sorry, Barbara. I I'm sorry. I was too late. I'm sorry. Barbara, are you there? 
Oh. See, the thing is, when I first, when I played this game for the first time, I generally did think Commissioner Gordon was dead. Like, I know that's, I know that sounds and looks dumb right now, but yeah, I know. I genuinely did believe it the first time I played this game. Oh, I just love the creepiness of this. Hold on, did I come through this door? See, this is the part of the game where it really starts to get a bit trippy and a bit like. Father should have stood up to him, son. Like a man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dad. <laughs> Obviously, Batman's worst fear is his parents. Or in Batman vs Superman, a giant bat exploding from a grave. And then boom! So you could do a really good horror film with Batman. Like, I know Christopher Nolan already used the villain Scarecrow in Batman Begins, and that was a really good film, don't get me wrong. I love Batman Begins and everything Christopher Nolan did with that trilogy. But I'm just saying, if another director wanted to, Matt Reeves, uh, <laughs> yeah, if he wants to direct the new ba Ben Affleck trilogy, do a horror film with it, honestly. Make it all about the Scarecrow again, and yeah, just give him the Arkham Asylum look. And then, boom, you've got a really good movie. Like, I'd be interested. I want to watch that. Like, at the moment, I have no interest in watching another Batman film. But, honestly, if you made it like a horror film, like with Scarecrow, mate, that's something different. It's a different kind of comic film. Have, have my ticket sold. Have my... Oh, mate, you're going to get a bat light in your face. Yeah, you're going to get a bat signal to the face. See, again, Rocksteady have done a really awesome job with these levels. Like, so obviously showcasing every villain to be like you know relevant and important and they ma honestly manage it in this game not just with Scarecrow and Joker obviously but with people like Killer Croc and actually thinking about it this game doesn't have as many villains like Arkham City obviously has more villains but that was because it was a big, super duper open world. So obviously you can allow more villains to come into it. I mean, like you're not obviously you're not gonna you're not gonna get villains like Two Face and the Penguin. Oh, ah, oh, mate. The fear, oblivion. Yeah, he's he's awesome. Ah, uh, mate. I used to be so good at these when playing it on Xbox. What happened? Right, slow and steady wins the race. That's that's the key to completing this unique part of the game. Yeah. Uh, 